So why are we so afraid to take a break? Let's talk about it. <laughs> What's going on, this is Legend, and welcome to a Fear Not Minute. Quick thought to inspire you to trust God and fear not. I'm right here in Nashville, Tennessee, on a little vacation with my family and reflecting on why is it so hard for us to take a break? Why is it so hard, why is it so hard for us to take a break? A lot of people struggle with getting away, taking substantial breaks away from work. Why is that so difficult for us? I think, man, for people that are highly productive, there's a fear of missing out. There's a fear of what am I supposed to be doing? Uh, if I step away from my work, then I'm not gonna continue to meet these goals I have. And some of that's healthy. I know for me, I've been seeing my counselor, and for me, it comes from a desire to prove and to earn approval and a fear of rejection. If I don't perform a certain way, I won't be good enough. Uh, people won't receive me. There's all those type of things involved in it. Um, so I have to work really hard to make myself unplug. I've got a lot of great people around me that are encouraging me, bro, you must stop. You have to take a break. My man, William Crawley, we were in Africa last year, and he was like, he said, we were talking about this last year about how hard you have to take a break. Recently, I hit a, a physical and emotional wall that I didn't realize was coming towards me. I was running so hard, I wasn't taking breaks. So while I'm here, I'm thinking about a couple things. I'm just like, what, what makes it so difficult for us? Um, and I think one of the bigger things is that uh, regardless of the difficulty of the practicality of getting away from work or the desire to earn or the fear of rejection or whatever it could be, uh, there's a couple of things we really have to look at. One, we weren't made to constantly produce. Uh, we're called human beings, not human doings. We're made to be and to be with God. When I look at Christ, Christ is indeed the Lord of all creation. I look at him, he got away from the cross. He got away from the work. He had to do that. When he was in his human form and in his, in his humanity, he got away, right? That's a beautiful thing to realize that God continues to still Sabbath just in Genesis. He does the same thing when he has an earthly life and ministry. Um, and one, the, 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 the unplugging for Christ got him away from the earthly fame. You could always see the crowds rushing at him and he would be like, let's get away, let's go the other direction. There was a desire to not be caught up in what man saw as most important. Uh, two, there's just the practicality of unplugging and getting away and recharging in his humanity. And, but most importantly, three, it's just time to get away with the Father and to be with God. One of the most beautiful things I know, when I get out of my regular routine and away from my normal space, it helps me kind of recalibrate and look at things and what rhythms I'm in and what rhythms do I need to stop or what rhythms do I need to start to keep myself rejuvenated. I know I have a tendency to feel like I gotta prove and desire something, uh, prove myself and work hard and do certain things. My friend, Pastor Jamie Stewart, told me something a long time ago that stuck with me, shout out Jamie. Jamie said, um, it's very arrogant of you, me, it's very arrogant of you to think that you can do in seven days what God told you he would do in six. What's that mean? God gives a biblical command to Sabbath, to rest, to take a day, to not keep working, you know, all this, no sleep, no days off, none of that's biblical, right? Uh, it's very arrogant to think that I can get more done by working harder than God told me he can get done with me rested. So it's very important to take a break. So whatever your fear, your reason is for not wanting to unplug and take away, it's not good enough for the reason God gives us to take a break. And you gotta learn to unplug. I came to my friend's house here because it's just a safe space for me to chill and be and not have to perform or do anything and find that space for you. Whatever that space is to relax, to unplug, to get away, whatever that place is, it may not even be a physical location. It could just be a decision that you have to make. Unplug and get away. Your work's not gonna fall apart. The world isn't gonna collapse on your return. The things you need to do, the things God has called you to do, and the problems you need to fix will still be there when you get back. But unplug so you can fulfill it when you can do it from a, so you can tackle all those things from a full tank instead of an empty tank. Be sure to take God's command to rest very seriously. He knows about you better than you do. You better not do, right? So, and you don't have anything to prove. You don't have anything to prove to anybody. Be faithful, but you don't have anything to prove to mankind. Just do your best, trust God, fear not. Hope that makes sense for you today. Man, listen, I got a um, real cool announcement. Friday, uh, the set 31st, August 30th. Yeah, Friday, sorry, July 31st. I'm dropping my new EP uh, called In This Moment. It's in response to all the racial tension and stuff that's going on hopefully given a non-polarized biblical response. I hope you check it out. Follow me on all your favorite music outlets and you'll find information about it there. But until next time, I hope this continues to help you trust God, take a break, and fear not. Take care.